Well, good morning, and welcome to our devotional time together. I'm Pastor Larry Kirkpatrick. I serve the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan, Seventh-day Adventist churches. If you're ever up in our area on a Sabbath morning, stop in. I want you to join us for worship. Today we're looking at Mark 6, 45 to 52. And there's a question, is it possible to walk on water? Immediately, he made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent them away, he departed to the mountain to pray. Now when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. Then he saw them straining at rowing, for the wind was against them. Now about the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea, and would have passed them by. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed it was a spirit, and cried out, for they all saw him and were troubled. But immediately he talked with them and said to them, be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. Then he went up into the boat to them, and the wind ceased. And they were greatly amazed in themselves beyond measure and marveled, for they had not understood about the loaves, because their heart was hardened. There's our incident. There is our incident. Jesus sends them on without him, and he goes away to pray. Instead of getting into the boat, he goes up on the mountain to pray. And you have to say, well, what's the lesson? What's going on here? Why does he come walking on the water? So Mark links the disciples' difficulty in rowing with the fact that they had a hardness of heart. They didn't understand the miracle we just talked about in our previous devotional about the loaves and the fishes. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. So when Jesus steps into the boat, the winds that had been contrary to them, suddenly those winds cease, and now they can make forward progress on their mission. When Jesus is with us, we can go forward. But you know what? What about that? They were there. They were there when they saw the miracle. Thousands fed from just a few loaves and fishes. And so what's the lesson about that? Uh, they were present when God did a miracle, but maybe they didn't think about it that much. Maybe they didn't really process it. Maybe they didn't really turn the wheel and, you know, figure out what was going on there. What is God doing? We may be present at a mighty movement of God, a mighty miracle that God does, but if we don't think about it, if we don't work it through, if we don't figure out what God's purpose is, if we don't seek and have a, discern, a seek for discernment so that we can understand what God wants, we'll miss the lessons that he wants us to take from, from these interventions that he, he does in our world. So God calls us. God calls us to be faithful. And when we see God do a mighty thing, what we should do is we shouldn't just say, oh, well, that was pretty cool, and move on. No, we should, we should think about it. We should spend some time praying about it. Spend some time, uh, maybe in the Bible we'll find some insight, and spend some time figuring out what that was all about and see what is it that God wants to teach me through that miracle. And I believe God will bless it. So help us, Lord, to be faithful. Let's pray together that we'll have an interested and a discerning spirit. Dear Father in heaven, we are busy, our, our electronic devices beep and bleep at us, and there's always something going on, and we have a short attention span, they say. So, Lord, we need your help. We want to be able to think about the spiritual lessons that come from your intervention so that we will understand your purpose in it. Help us to grow spiritually, Lord. Bring us up to higher ground and help us not to be like these disciples that had to row, 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 and we got stuck in the middle of the lake without Jesus that night until he came to them. Yes, it's possible to walk on water and so much more, but help us to learn that lesson so that we can do whatever you would have us to do. This is our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So my suggestion to you today is, if you can remember a time when God did some mighty spiritual thing, and maybe you didn't really... Take as much time and prayer and thinking about what you could have learned from it. Take some time, some time today. Set aside a period of time. Five or ten minutes maybe even would be enough. Who knows? Set aside some time, some time today. Think about that special intervention that God gave you and try to understand what his purpose in it is. You might find there's more than you'd thought about before. And maybe share a comment in our comments below here to share your experience with someone else that can be blessed by what Jesus did for you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord Christ Jesus.